Great to see you in my classroom today. I am Professor Stripes. Today we are going to learn how to represent and solve for the unknown. Don't let my tough exterior scare you, it's going to be great fun. Here's our first chance to show our greatness. The problem says, Tony the Tiger has a total of 65 stripes. He has 20 stripes on his head and the rest are on his back. What equation could be used to find the number of stripes on Tony's back? Let's see here. We know he has 20 stripes on his head. We need to add the number of stripes he has on his back. We don't know what that number is so we can call that X for now. 20 plus X will equal the total number of stripes, 65. We now have an equation to help us figure out how many stripes Tony has on his back. 20 plus a number will equal 65. I can use subtraction to help me find the unknown value. If I subtract 65 minus 20, I can determine the unknown number. 65 minus 20 equals 45. So 20 plus 45 equals 65. Tony has 45 stripes on his back. That was great fun. Let's try one more. Tiffany the tiger had a big bag full of sugary cereal. 55 pieces of cereal fell out of her bag, and now she is left with only 32 pieces. What equation can be used to find the total number of pieces of sugary cereal Tiffany started with? Well, let's look closely at the problem. I don't know the total so I will use x to represent that amount. She started out with x and then lost 55 pieces, so I can subtract 55 from x. After that she only had 32 pieces. x minus 55 equals 32. Check that equation out. Now let's solve for the unknown to see how many pieces of sugary cereal she started with. What number minus 55 will give me 32? I can use addition to help. The 55 she lost plus the 32 she still has will tell me what she started with. 87. 87 minus 55 equals 32. Tiffany started with 87 pieces of sugary cereal. Learning with you was great fun today. Keep up the good work.